All right, welcome back to the Front Free Podcast with myself, Big Will, Coach Dan, and the prodigy himself, AJ. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe. We're on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts as well. Well, today we're going to look at the Ballon d'Or, which is coming around in October. And we're going to look at the runners and riders for the big prize this winter. So let's start off with some candidates then. Coach, I know you've got a... Wait, but quickly, you know, Long when you, list of you know when you said Ballon d'Or, yeah? <laughs> the Champions League theme tune went off in my head. I don't even know why. I said Ballon d'Or. I heard, da, da, that's da, da, uh, da, interesting. Da, da, Not the World Cup da, theme tune or anything. The, the World Cup theme tune. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Eddie, that might be an indication. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, my friend, as you guys know, yeah? yeah. I'm not a fan of this award. Mm-hmm. Mind the spirit, since people love it. I'm not a big and fan of Whether I like it or not, it's going to be awarded. <laughs> Can Thanks. I ask you one question, coach? Is Lewandowski on that list? <laughs> <laughs> or do you gonna, quite I, not is he going to rip open the shirt and reveal the, 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 <laughs> the, the bars on top of the <laughs> level you, nine? You guys think that case is closed. That case is not closed, you know? <laughs> There's some investigations nah, going on. He got you done dirty. <laughs> you sit tight. Nah, that one he got done dirty. Yeah. Oh, you sit my. tight. I'll never forget that. He did. Guys, right, so... The idea was like to have a top 10, but we can discuss maybe top five or three. Yeah. But I was just excited by it because mm-hmm. I think I think it's important. Yes, players do need to be recognised, right? Yeah. And appreciate for their, their, their output, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Throughout the season. So for sure, made 10, yeah, but I even went for 11. I think, yeah, you can... Sh- Did you put sure. them in order or just like names? I think I can argue that my top five perhaps are in order okay. or three. Fair. These, I don't mind we can rank order them by arguments and stuff like that. It's no problem for me. So I've got Rodri, Osimhen, um, Salah, Kane, KDB, Mbappe, Diaz, Gundo, Vinny, Haaland and Messi. Okay. Which Diaz? Ibrahim. <laughs> okay. Ruben. And um, I heard Salah on there. Okay. Interesting. Mm. Right. <laughs> I think that interesting was a question. <laughs> it wasn't a rhetorical question. So it was an actual question. It was a question. Just Salah. Sure. I was a bit surprised. No, His but output was still decent. Yeah, so, so, but for that's the idea, though. <coughs> no, but that's why it's a top ten, right? Because yeah, of course, unless unless you know you're talking about perhaps us, it's always decided your your output would have been great for you as an individual. But what did it? How did it benefit your team? Those yeah, things yeah, are all yeah, considered. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. There's certain players that could be moved up and down. You take, you take, you, and as we go on, I'll perhaps talk a bit more about him. You take Harry Kane, for example. He's had one of his best Premier League seasons, goal scoring wise, anyway. Yeah. His team was poop poor. Do you understand? They were very bad. But. Not surprised. That's why I talk about this Ballon d'Or. Yeah, they say it's for an individual awards, right? Which is what that individual done. But sometimes, you know, the goal poses them move is that if you do good, but your team hasn't done well, then you're not, you've not really done anything. Right? Or you can be considered for, for the Ballon d'Or. And so Might those are the arguments. Mm. Yeah, those are the arguments that go around. That's why there's a top 10. I think outside of that, you, you would have to convince me and there aren't a lot of players out there that I thought done better than them for individual seasons, even though their teams didn't do good. I'm talking about Salah and Kane, for example. Mm. Just quickly, do you know what Salah's output was for Liverpool this season? I think, I think of all, he hit like, Maybe thirty goals or just under. Decent. In all competitions, and their team, he, they done terrible. Mm, no. They finished fifth. Fifth, yeah. Yeah, I think he was. He was. Just down. It was technically the brightest light in that team. And even by his standards, at one point you think Salah, like you're dead. This is poor. <laughs> this is poor. Because then you were looking at the whole picture of Liverpool, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to. This is why these arguments sometimes become a bit cyclical. Because it's like. The player has to be good. But for the player to be good, his team needs to be performing. For his team to perform, he needs to be playing good. And if he's playing good, then his team would have succeeded in certain competitions. And if he does good and his team hasn't su- his team hasn't done well in competitions, then did he really do good? Can he be considered for Ballon d'Or? And then we keep going round and round, round and, and round. round. Is, it, is that a fair argument, though? Does the team need to perform to a certain level in order for that person to uh, be justified to win or be in contention? I don't know if you're asking me per se for my opinion because I think the rules have been set already. The rules have been set and the arguments happen. So you give this award supposedly for the individual. 
Okay. So if I score 62 goals in the league, I mean, in the, in the season, but my team doesn't win anything, do I deserve to win the individual award? I believe you should. In spite of what my team won. <laughs> Someone else will say, don't say that. You see what I'm saying? It, it's irrelevant if your team don't it's win anything. It's just sentiments. And so it's a very difficult That's thing for me to go That's individual along. achievement to score 62 goals. But your, your team didn't win yeah. anything. Have you really achieved something if your team didn't win anything? Because we know it's a team sport. If this was tennis or <laughs> golf, <laughs> yeah, then but fair enough. But then, it's a team sport. Then, then, then take Salah out your list. Yeah, you have to do it. You have to do it. <laughs> take Kane out your yeah. list. Bro, bro, I think... Because it's true. It's true. It's my point. That's the point I'm making. You're saying he, you should be able to win it. I'm saying someone else who make the opposite argument that no, it has to reflect in how your team does. And so it's a, it's, it's a never ending argument with these Ballon d'Ors. That's why I say I don't agree with it as a thing. Although I think it's very important. As someone that coaches it, yeah, the, the football game, I think it's important that you recognise the standout players literally in every industry. Because it's to, it's to motivate the players around them yeah. to live their level and it's all to, to make sure that this individual, look at Messi and Ronaldo, how long they've been going here. Yeah? It's yeah. the fact that when they get rewarded, they want to please people more. They want to lift their level. And that's only better for the game and the people around them. So now I want to know what your list is because of what you just said. <laughs> oh, oh, I think, I think, because I had the list. Perhaps it's like, who of those lists don't you guys agree with? Okay, if you read them out. To me, for me, to me, <laughs> I'll say Messi, Highland, and probably... Um... Top three, you're mentioning. No, no, yeah. can you just read your list out again? Sorry. Yeah. No, I should read them. I'm just going to X people out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Get uh, exactly. Yeah. So I had Rodri from Manchester City. Acceptable. Osim Hen from Napoli. Napoli. Acceptable. Yeah. Salah, Harry uh, Kane, uh, KDB, Mbappe, uh, Ruben Diaz, Gundo, Vinicius Jr., Haaland, Messi. I'd say Salah and Kane have to go if we're doing individual and what the team achieved but who's we <laughs> is that not our is consensus that, no, no. is that not our consensus that's the whole point that's what we can settle on <laughs> because bro <laughs> if we're being honest here if we're saying it's an individual thing then I need to put Lacazette on that list oh yeah 27 goals but to be fair yeah to be fair <laughs> to be fair you've got a point you've got a point because yeah. I might have um, Jonathan Salah David there, mm. but then yeah why isn't Lacazette there yeah. Jonathan he David anything, but he's got plenty of goals only five other strikers in the big league scored more goals than Jonathan David so do we want to settle there yeah? <laughs> for the sake of what we want to discuss here it has to have reflected in their team's achievement as well as yeah, the individual yeah I think that way we can narrow it down a bit more okay let's do that then otherwise we could be here forever <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> alright cool so Salah Kane yeah, X them. <laughs> They're X. <laughs> They've been X. <laughs> Cancelled. <laughs> um, Rodri, yeah. All the things he won this season and he was... I don't think Top he was, five, yeah? Rodri. Top five from your he'll list. Be he'll be in my no, no, five. Oh, okay. You, you... you. Because uh, if he didn't score the goal in the Champions League final, would we put John Stones in above him? Nah, but he's performed great in the Champions League semi-finals. So he's is John Stones. John Stones be very good, my friend. John Stones. <laughs> John Stones. No, but Rodri but, from the start of the season all bro, the way through. Bro, all jokes aside, if Rodri did that score that goal, M1 should have been John Stones. John Stones was man in the match for, uh, from the in the first 25 minutes and there was no one better than him. Who was Deep better than Rodri in his position this year across Europe? So here's the thing, right? I think if you, take, if you take game by game performance, yeah, because he played consistently more than anyone else you can compare to. Yes, he will, he will tip. He just gets above all of them. But for Casemiro, when he played at United, was very good. Well, then if we're oh. saying that, then Thomas Partey was very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh! No, 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 Part of your yeah, yeah. Yes, in the like, season. But he Cas was like that, but then but you could the tell when Casemiro wasn't in the United team, they were a different prospect to when they were in it as well. But anyway, I was just saying, you you asked the question, who can I compare to? And he was one of the names that came in my mind immediately. Okay. But I mean, across across they were very good players. You look at Napoli, you could put um Lobotka in there, but he doesn't have a name. As as what's his face? Rodri, so he won't be mentioned. 
it, it's fine. It's just how football goes. Yeah. You can't you can't really say anything about that. That's fine. But he was very good. A few of Napoli's midfield were very good. Actually, Modric has been very good. Modric, Luka Modric, yeah, he does good. But he's he's not played the same amount of games. You see what I'm yeah, saying? I that's see, why I see the com- metric that you're measuring. Yeah, that's it, why but... it's not comparable. Because yeah, a player can play ten great games, but is it really fair to measure against someone that's played? 55, 55 games, games and yeah. maybe he's had 10 bad ones mm. but no I think, I think you make a good point Rodri has been the standout player in his position not many will argue with that I don't I'll, think no. I'll agree with you Rodri has to be in the top 5 so has Haaland Messi and Haaland that's automatic really to be fair why is Messi automatic? <laughs> you won the World Cup <laughs> so, so did McAllister <laughs> And he was outstanding. You're being silly. You're being silly. What? You're being silly. No, I don't you're like this. Hey, 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 okay, hey, okay, hey. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's because maybe it's because McAllister was at Brighton. No, Alvarez. No, Alvarez see, at City. See, right now, Alvarez at City won everything fo- in football. World Cup, Champions League, but the you're league, forgetting. You're the forgetting league something. Cup. And what else? You're, uh, AJ, you're looking at you're looking at the half part. You're looking at one side of the coin for that. That's what their teams won. Don't forget, how did they contribute to that? That, okay. that changes the competition. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, because, doesn't it? No, 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 wait. Because what did Messi contribute in Liga? Hello? No, 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 no. Hello? What did, tell <laughs> when me. When I say hello, say hi. No, I'll say bye. <laughs> what did he contribute in Liga? <laughs> when I say hello, say Show hi. Me the stat. Show me the stats. What AJ, you... when I say hello, say hi. I said bye. <laughs> Show me his stats in Liga. Uh. Get it up. You got an iPad. Get out. I might say you got an iPad. I'm very intrigued. I'm very intrigued. Look here. Talk anyway whilst I I look for something. (coughs) I'm just just saying, isn't it? These are arguments that people have posed to me as well. Oh, yeah, Messi. Okay. What about Alvarez? He won everything. He contributed some big goals. Even in the World Cup, he contributed. Someone will say McAllister had a great season for Brighton, scored some wonder goals, got his move to Liverpool, played very well in the World Cup, played most of the games. Someone can also bring that up. So, you know... So let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. Would we agree? Yeah. Even before we, we cover the top five, would we agree? Yeah. The top two candidates, Messi and Haaland. Yeah. yeah. Would we agree that at I least? Agree. Yeah. Okay. I agree. So before, yeah, let me let me reveal it now. If it was ever a surprise to anyone, Leo Messi is my standout to win the Ballon d'Or. In case you guys were wondering. Why? Let's assume you disagree. Yeah. Is it Mbappe, yeah? I'm sorry, Haaland. For me, it's Haaland. Okay. Should we go and com- co- compare and contrast as to your arguments for it and my arguments for yeah, Mbappe? Yeah, of course. Okay. And so your, uh, Mbappe, your, your argument for Messi. My argument for Messi. Okay. So we've established, right? Yeah. Their contribution. Okay. And then the team. Their contribution. And then how it reflects on their team. Fair. Yes. Are we, so, are we fine on that? Yeah. Let's, just, let's go for the hard facts, yeah? These are as, as of now or the end of the season, yeah? Mm-hmm. Messi played... 53 games. Okay. Do you know how many Haaland played? Club and international? Yes, okay. yes. He how, played 53 how games. How many did Haaland play? 55. Okay, 53, 55. Yeah. Okay. Do you know how many goals Messi scored? How many? In goals? all games? 37. Okay. Do you know how many Haaland scored? How many? 53. Oh, look at that. Do you, know how, do you know how many Messi assists? How many? 25. 25. Haaland Have a guess, Haaland. Have a guess. <laughs> I know he had about... Have a guess! I know he had about eight in the Prem. Okay. But I don't know how much he had. He had nine overall. Nine You're overall. right, eight in the Prem. So one might have been even the Carabao Cup. No <laughs> problem. The, the Carabao Cup he could have been in. Okay. <laughs> do you know, yeah, overall, go and assist or, yeah, go and assist contribution. Do you know what they all end up on? You tell me. 62 each. Both. Who's had the best season? 62 each. Who's had the best season? Haaland. <laughs> Let's go more. Let's go more. Ooh. Okay. Haaland won Premier League. Yep. FA Cup. Yep. Champions, Champions League. League. Yep. Yeah? Yep. Messi won. World Cup. Mm-hmm. And Liga. Maybe your next statement would be, oh, it's only the Liga. No, yeah? no, no, not at all, not at all. It's, it's hard but to win things. we've just established, yeah? We've just established, we've just established, okay? <clears throat> that when you add up everything, they're neck and neck at mm-hmm. 62. Yeah. And we just also established, here. Yeah, it has to reflect their contribution to their team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, you can see Haaland is top heavy with the goal scoring. Yeah. But it tells you his assist ratio, yeah? He's not really claiming for his team. Messi at the end of 36. Oh, my day. You, oh. Messi, <laughs> hear me out, bro. Listen. I'm listening, I'm listening. Messi at the age of 36. 
contributed 37 goals and 25 assists. Name me your best attacking midfielder. In fact, name me two of your best attacking midfielders. Combined. <laughs> combined to get how many assists. Okay. <laughs> listen. That, that, combined. That, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> listen I'm man, listening. Listen. That's so cute and all. <laughs> and that's so great. Messi, congratulations. You've got a fan. Congratulations. But we must put things into context. Okay. okay? Contextualize it. Let's You're contextualize listening. it. All right. <laughs> 22 years of age. First season in the Premier League, arguably the hardest league in the world, and you win a treble, and you win the greatest club competition there is. Messi World Cup, you gotta give credit where it's due. You reckon? Go give him credit. <laughs> go give him credit where it's due. He played well. He carried the team for most of it. He won the World Cup. Something that he's been, you know, that's the one thing that he's been trying to achieve. Fine, okay, that's cool. But just because he had more assists doesn't mean anything to me because at the end of the day Haaland was more top heavy with goals Messi was more so for me Messi was more what? say Messi, it you Messi know why was, you can say it you know why, why? you can say what? Messi was his more his game is balanced okay but at, at the end of it at the end of it at the end game is balanced at the end of it at the end of it otherwise no AJ you're missing the point at the end of it yeah. if you add up your total they're neck and neck they're connect so what you're saying but the only way but the only way you're trying to difference I made the argument at the age of 36 that's a phenomenal achievement you make the argument at the age of 22 that's a phenomenal phenomenal argument so then your next point is the assist. No, no. I think that was your next point. Let me, let me counter, yeah? Let me counter a few of this. I won't say they're fallacies, yeah? Or, or being overstated. Because me saying Messi should win it doesn't mean I don't think Haaland um, Haaland deserves it, yeah. right? It's just, I think, I don't, it's not even an argument, but let me make this argument anyway, right? So, granted... He broke sort of like the Premier League records in the goal scores in the season, yeah? Mm-hmm. Absolutely brilliant. You, 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 I, f- I forgot how many hat-tricks he scored in a game, right? In games. I think four hat-tricks he scored. I think it was If scored. not five or so. Mm-hmm. He's, been, he's been phenomenal goal scorer. We can't argue that mm-hmm. in the EPL. And if he keeps going on at this rate, I'm sure now that Messi's left Europe, he will win Ballon d'Or. Mm-hmm. He can have the next one. No one cares. <laughs> but look at it this way. I look at it this way. Mm-hmm. He scored 36 goals in the league. Yeah. 36 goals. Everyone remember what a great season he's had. I mentioned it before. Harry Kane scored 30 goals. Haaland scored 36. The difference in that, do you guys know? You are the smart ones here. <laughs> Six goals. Has he really done that phenomenal? What? Can- no. Listen, listen to me. Don't, Are you don't, right? Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> I'm listening. Don't get triggered. I'm don't get triggered. triggered. Is it what you're saying? I'm saying, yeah, look at... Yeah, to a certain degree. But then if you look at Haaland, 36 in 38 games, that's almost a goal a game. Pretty much when he In his first season. That, guys, no. don't, don't... No one has come to the Premier and done that. No, no one. We're not arguing that. Don't forget, don't argue those. Those are semantics we're talking about, yeah? The player's output and how it contributed to their team. Think about it. Yes, Haaland, yeah, scoring 36 goals in the Premier League, took his team to the Premier, Premier League, League title. title. Yeah. Brilliant. No one can argue that. No one can argue that. He played for the best team in the world and scored 36 goals in the league. And 52 altogether in the uh, competitions. Yeah. Harry Kane played for Tottenham Poop Spurs, yeah, and scored 30. They were shocking. If you remember, you can't even remember a game where you thought Tottenham played good. Maybe against Manchester City. That's the only game they play <laughs> yeah, good. That was the only yeah. Game. And he scored 30 goals. I'm making the point. Yes, his his goal scoring prowess within games, scoring four, three here, and stuff like that. Yeah. It's phenomenal. You can't argue it. Yeah, because he's a pure goal scorer. But when you take things into perspective, even piss poor Tottenham's Harry Kane, yeah, scored 30. He scored 36. It's not like he scored 50 more. He scored 36. It's make the point, yeah. And it's all speculation now, right? Maybe if Harry Kane was at City, who knows how many he would have scored? Who knows how many he would have scored? I would make the argument he would have scored more. And that's not to take anything from Mbappe. Like we say, it's his first season. If this is your introduction to your first season, we should start counting 80 and upwards for next year. And I'm fine with that. But if you look at over one in the season, the goal contribution is 66, 62 yeah. each for both Messi and, 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 and Haaland. And then you look at Messi, right, in Argentinian team, 
if you look at the Argentinian team, I think me and maybe, I don't even think Messi believed that he could take them to the World Cup more than I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. But it happened. Yeah. And we can't argue it. The fact that he should win it, it's not even something that I'm making an argument for. It's according to people's own standards, yeah? And criteria that they've put into being considered the great. Messi has achieved it. And guess what? They're still trying to take it away from him. People were saying he can never be considered the great compared to Maradona's and these lot unless he wins the World Cup. He's won the World Cup. You can't move the goalpost anymore. You know what? He's completed football. So he said, let me go in America and put my feet up. Maybe appear in a music video or two. You know what I'm saying? If you want to, you can appear in the next episode of Narcos. <laughs> I don't care. You, Bro. You, cannot, you cannot tell me, yeah, as, as lovely as the Champions League is, and season by season is the number one thing, competition that we look forward to. But no other competition beats the World Cup in the anticipation that we wait for it. And Messi. That's so funny because a few years ago he said the complete opposite. No, no, I didn't say the complete opposite. No, no, no. I didn't say the complete opposite. Let me, let me, no, I'll no, drop no. this back and leave right now. No, no, listen. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That will run. That can run. That can run. That can run. It can run. It can run like you say, both. Both sides. Both sides. No. Bro, what are you saying? I never said that. There's a loss. I said, yeah, we cannot, yeah, uh-huh. argue the fact, yeah, the World Cup is most anticipated football competition in world in the world. Of course, You disagree yeah. with that? Yeah, that's that's fine. But the the reason I said, yeah, with Messi in the World Cup, I said, even if Messi had retired without winning the World Cup, he's still the greatest footballer. That's the two different arguments I'm making right now. Yeah, but that's, that's opinions. By your own criteria, and I'm, I'm pointing at you, because you, you're the, you, you become the enemy right now, yeah, with that comment you made. But those people that you represent, you know, the people you're the agent of, yeah? Like yeah. these guys here. Oh, clear yeah. off. <laughs> That's saying Messi can't win it unless he's won the World Cup. He's won the World Cup. I never said that. <laughs> I said you're an agent. You're, 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 the, you're the customer. To face. be honest, to be honest. You're the customer. If face. he, ha- look, him being the greatest of all time, look, that's a debate. It's not a debate. It's a debate for another day. Yes, it is a debate. It is a debate. It is a uh, debate. It's not a debate, no. I think it's a debate personally, but anyway, that's that, that that's where it is. You know what? I actually understand why you're still making a debate. You know why? Because once once he wins this one and he's going to win it, yeah. Because more people in football are wiser than the people you represent as an oh, agent. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Messi's gonna uh, have okay. won it eight times, right? Yeah. And Ronaldo, how many? Five or six? No. It's to say the point that yeah, you're here trying to represent that Messi shouldn't over exceed no, 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 Ronaldo, no, 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 by no, 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 but no, no, Messi's no, going no, to win it. No, at all. Bro, he's going some, to win some, it. Some, some people still it's say Messi's not better than Pele. People say what? Some people might say Messi's not better than Pele. So, woo, what well. people say that? What people, people who say, say that? There are people who say it. There are people who say it. So there might be some Brazilians who say it. All I'm going to say is that... And Argentinians will say otherwise. Exactly. That's, an, that's not an argument. I'm just saying there are people who will say it. <laughs> For me personally, at the end of the day, the stats no, are lacking. arguments are super Harland. The yeah. stats are... No, it. do you know what? Let me hear I'm it. Not, my issue is people are just saying, oh, because he won the World Cup, he should win it. That's what a lot of people are saying. My thing is, if we're looking at stats and team contribution, it's neck and neck for me. Personally, it's neck and neck. Oh, you... it's neck and neck. I wonder how the you reason reach that why. No, no, no. Now. I've always thought it's neck and neck between Messi and Haaland. Okay. My thing is, yeah. If someone was to say right now, vote, I'd vote Haaland. Yeah. Because I just think what he's done, I haven't seen anyone go come into Europe and do do, do what he's done and what he's done in the Prem. Fair. He broke, I think, 26 records on the way to having such a great season. Okay, he only scored six more goals than Harry Kane, but it's still six more goals. That's the fact. Fair. That's a Fair. number on paper. Okay? Fair. Of course, Tottenham were poor. City were great. But he still had to put the ball in the back of the net. Yes. It's the same as a couple years ago when, before Neymar made his move to Barca, and people were like, oh, but he's scoring all these goals. It's only the Brazilian league. And I kept on saying, I think we said it. Uh, we said We had this argument one time as well. I said, he's still got to put the ball in the back of the... He's still got to go on the pitch and perform and do it. Yes. That's the hardest thing. Yes. So when I look at all these factors and I look at the age of this young pup, 22, and you've done this in football, bro, it's scary. And I believe, of this merit, is it, is it really scary though? How about... Ah! Dad, nah, 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 nah. I'm not even calling you coach. I said, Dad. Here's not... my point. Here's my point. Here's my point. Is it really? Here's my point. Here's is my point. Really? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know what it is? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know what it is? Mm-hmm. Humor me. This humor me. Humor me. Yeah, humor me. Humor me. We live in a society where the humor current me. thing, the current um, what is it? <laughs> um, um, whatever is happening Trends. now, yeah. Trend. The current trend. Because he's yeah? old, he doesn't know the, the exactly. words. It's not even coming. It's okay. You see what I'm saying? The current trend. <laughs> Almost sort of um, intoxicate us, and we forget. Do you know what Messi was in at the age of twenty-two? 
Bro, my son. Hey, we're no, talking about no, no, we're talking about it no, now. No, 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 no. My point is this. My point is this. You're losing yeah, your yeah, mind because yeah. you think at the age of 22, he's that phenomenal. I think equally with as much passion as you that at 36, what he's done is beyond phenomenal. And here's the thing. I think the reason why... <laughs> I said it's not. I think the reason why people only think of Messi, oh, the only thing he's done is when they, when they World the, the World Cup, is because, yeah, they're comparing Messi that they know now to what they have known. You see what I'm saying? So, well, so those the people are silly. So, no, no, no. But I, I, think, I think it's a subconscious thing. I don't even think they're intentionally doing it because they're thinking, Messi scored 62 goals. That's real Messi. At the age of 36, scoring that amount of goals, 37 goals, yeah, with 25 assists. Okay. And, okay, and guys, wait, 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 and wait, wait. guys, yeah. <laughs> when you look... I like what you're saying about at that age scoring that many. Okay, you carry on. Carry on talking. <laughs> no, 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 don't forget, the criteria had already been established, guys. That's why it was important that we established it. We're talking about team contributions. Now, you can talk about, yeah, yeah, goal scoring is contributing. Do you know what's equally contributing? Being a team player and assisting. In fact, that's the definition to have scored 37 goals and contributed 25 <laughs> times. Okay. <laughs> at 36, it, listen, at 36. No, no, I'm, not trying, playing, I'm trying to find I'm something. Playing, nowhere near your best. Compared to a 22 year old, oh, he's playing I'm not playing the way he's playing. Oh, no. Let me make this argument oh, as well. Let me make bro, this argument. These are, these are, these are, these are, are this emotional stuff. Let me make this argument. Let me make this argument. Let me make this argument. What's the facts? He's bringing emotions. Not playing at your best. <laughs> let, me make, let me make this argument as well. Oh, let me make this sorry. argument as well. Wait, sorry. How do we clarify not playing at your best? What's the metric for that? Mm, it's a Come difficult on, metric. Come on, bro. The Come metric on. is already set by you. I've already established that. Not playing at his best. You don't think, yeah. You don't think Messi should be there because. I didn't say he shouldn't be there. I just said. No, no, not be. <laughs> I'm making a point why Messi should win it. Yeah? You've, your argument for Haaland was pretty much those things that I've said, but I think I've already also explained why I don't think that alone is enough anyway. You've not really told me why Messi's is not enough. I, I would like to hear that. And let me make this argument. Let it be said first here, yeah? It's, it's amazing. His first time in the EPO, he's won the league, Champions League, FA Cup, pull down trees, yeah? Whatever had happened, whether he had left... <laughs> If, if he had joined C or not, he would have still won the league. I think if he was at Dortmund with the season they had and losing in the last, the last day, yeah. he would have scored the goals that were needed and they would have won the league. So regardless, he would have won the league, whether it was Germany or Premier League. It's fine. Likewise, Messi at PSG, he would have won the league. Regard, they would have won it regardless mm, with him or without, without him. him. Yeah. But we're talking about their individual contributions and no one can hide the fact to score 37 goals, club and country, and also provide 25 we don't understand the level this kid is. This kid. <laughs> He's confused now. <laughs> you, know, you, know why, you know why I'm calling my kid? Because you're thinking about Haaland. I'm comparing him. You're thinking about Haaland. You're thinking about Haaland. I'm comparing to the greats that we've lost recently. Oh. To him, yeah, he's a kid. To them, sorry, he's a kid. But to the football world, come on, man. It's not even fair. I think the fact that we even compare Messi to um, uh, Haaland for Ballon d'Or is a joke. Well, because he, oh, bro, because now it's about age. Now it's about he wanted his best form. You now were the first to mention age. No, but before, you said that's a big... But I mentioned it because I think for someone who's so young, yes. inexperienced to do something like that, it's crazy. You then said Messi when he was 22. We're not talking about Messi when he was 22. Inexperienced? Of the Prem. Haaland was inexperienced about, of the Prem. He'd never played it before. <sighs> you know what, Yeah. What I'm saying to you is, yeah, look, yeah. Messi had a great season. You reckon? In terms of winning the World Cup, the goals he scored. He scored, how many did he score in Liga? He didn't score any more than Lacazette, but that's fine. Um, but anyway, Lacazette's 33. But okay, mm -hmm. you know, if we're talking about age and stuff, Lacazette scored 27 goals in Liga at the age of 33. That's a crazy achievement. I'm just saying, anyway. That's by the way, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said I mentioned the age. I'm talking about those who are older who also bad goals this year. Anyway, okay, I'm listening. Messi done very well at the World Cup. Okay. Flow, 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 flow. He was good. Oh, it was some good. Exciting Only football. good. Oh, come on, he was good. He was good. We gotta he give him quite a few pens. Yeah, bro. Okay, I mean, walks for a lot of the games, but, but he showed us his magic. But no one yeah. ever used that as an argument. Penaldo was winning what, Ballon d'Ors, isn't it? Penal. Penaldo. <laughs> Penaldo. Is this guy alright? Yeah, okay. 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 <laughs> hey, Flex, 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 flex. Nah, there's no flexing. <laughs> no, I just no, think... Flex. Make your argument, make your I argument. I just think, look, he won the World Cup. Great. But my question is, just, just humor me. If he didn't win the World Cup, would you put him in this conversation? 
You're speaking hypotheticals now. Yeah, I see. And I've already me. established. I've I said, already... Ah, you're speaking me. No, but listen, if listen, he didn't to me, win listen, to up, me. listen to me. Listen okay, to okay. me. Okay, okay. Forget about If he didn't win League R, uh, if he didn't win League R, uh, with the same numbers, with the same numbers. Yeah. And it was just a World Cup. I've already said to you guys here. So your thing is a numbers. The only obstacle that was ever in Messi's way. World Cup. Now he's won it. Only obstacle. Why was that? And he did it with arguably some of the worst. Inter- <laughs> no, don't do that. Name by name, name by don't name, name by name on paper. <laughs> okay. No one gave a damn about McAllister. Yeah, at Brighton. Oh, stop it! Oh, stop! Messi oh, and stop it. it! If you're a true football person, you knew about McAllister at Brighton, bro. Come on, let's be honest. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know how much McAllister went for to Liverpool? You tell me. Only Liverpool could have gone for that much anyway. 35, 35 mil, mil for a World Cup winning player. 21, 22, however old he is. Yeah, I think 23 or 24, I can't remember. Yeah, but then Enzo went for 105, so you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> That's my point. I just blame the Saudi pro <laughs> <laughs> Just blame the Saudis, but Enzo still. Look. That's what I'm talking about. Look, when you have, yeah, do you know what? It's because the name is McAllister. We've heard that name in England so many times. Then, then Ronaldo, 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 Ronaldo should be in the conversation. Exotic. Then, if it's because, because, hey, yeah, you know. exotic. Look, with veneers in his teeth, so <laughs> Look, we should, we should well. go for a lot. Come on, man. <laughs> so who do you think should win Ballon d'Or? <laughs> this is uh... we've gone back and forth. I'm staying with Haaland. He's sticking with Messi. This is the not the most technical response, but I think Haaland, Messi doesn't need another Ballon d'Or. Doesn't matter. Well, he's me. just talking off emotion just, it doesn't matter he went, he, he, these guys it him, and, he, him being the forefront of the agents that he's represented yeah he's won his award he's won his he's won bro, his they just, they, they, no, 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 no. Will do you know what they want they want him to win this man on door they'd be like oh this solidifies his legacy as the greatest if he's the greatest like you lot say then he, he didn't need to win the World Cup he doesn't need to win this man on door he's just the greatest <laughs> Case closed. Thank you I'm for coming. So, I'm so happy. Thank you for coming, guys. <laughs> I've you. converted a few of you. I've converted who? Oh, a joker. Today, today you've taken a red pill. All you Messi guys are jokers. Harlan should win Ballon d'Or. Messi should come second. His and then the argument rest. at the end is that he's won it plenty of times anyway. So let's. Do you know what that is? Do you know what, 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 participate in trophies? <laughs> you know why you're saying that? Because you're a school teacher. It's the take. It's the take and part that counts. Now, for me, if it's neck and neck, give it to the one who hasn't won it. That's, not, that's, that's never been a good argument. It's mine. Oh, you know what, darling? You've won it plenty of times. No, why that's what they do in the Oscars we, every year. That's what they do in the Oscars every year. Why don't we let the other kids play? That's what There's a the reason why, year by year, people are tuning out the Oscars. Who's tuning out? Who told you? <laughs> check the stats. <laughs> you check the stats. Because what you're saying is not I've, right. I've got enough stats in for you today. <laughs> really? I've been too much for you today. Stat padding for Messi. Oh, Messi. Oh, Messi. You check the oh, stats Leo, next time. Oh, Leo. Oh, Leo. Oh, Leo. Because you're 36 and you want to work up. We must give you Ballon d'Or. Anyway, Haaland. Haaland. Your opinions, yeah? Your opinion is irrelevant. Is irrelevant. You know your it's opinions true. are irrelevant. You know According to you. Your opinions are irrelevant. Listen, why? All our opinions are irrelevant. Because we're not voting. Exactly. They're not going to call us to vote. They're not going to call us to vote. No, so. no, 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 no. Why are you going to move to vote? Massa, you better find your way somewhere. The agents, the agents that I represent, the agents I represent, they got IQ, football IQ. Football IQ. At the end, when they're, when they're given the awards, you'll see who stood on the top podium. It's fine. To be honest, Ballon d'Or, I'm going to be very honest, I don't give a heck about Ballon d'Or. <laughs> oh yeah, now that Mbappe is not, I mean, Haaland is not going to win it. No, 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 no. Whether he wins it or not, if he wins it, what am I going to do? Send him a congratulation under his post. Uh, he doesn't even know who <laughs> he, I am. He might appreciate I'll be, that, among, I'll be amongst the millions doing that. And then I don't really care about Ballon d'Or. All I'm saying is, for me, in recent years, I've not seen a young person come onto the scene and do what Haaland did. Personally. I, whether, whether, what? What? what was Messi doing at the age of 22? I'm asking I said, you. I said in recent years, at 22, <laughs> Messi was doing what he needed to do. That's why he is where he is now. No, but... Okay? No, but... Case listen, case listen. Case. What, what was Mbappe doing at 21 and 20? You mean Haaland, do you mean? Or Messi? Who, who, Mbappe? Mbappe. What was he doing? He wasn't pulling up numbers that Haaland is popping the brim. <laughs> yeah, but he was dragging his team to World Cup winnings. Yeah. But my point yeah. is this, my point is this, yeah? So should Mbappe have Almost won the... Almost twice, no, no, no. Should, yeah. should, So should have Mbappe have won the, the Ballon d'Or that year? He should have. Mbappe should have won what? Ballon d'Or the year that... <laughs> he won the World, won the World Cup. Who won it? 
I, I can't remember who won it that year. Probably Ronaldo. Penaldo. I don't think it was. I think was that the year Modric won it. I think it's the year Modric won it. Modric won it. Uh huh. And and uh-huh. look here. Uh-huh. No 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 no. So should the have won it or not? But we all know yeah that Modric won because should of... be investigated. <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case today. We all know the ball 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 guys, guys, this guy has sat here and gave us an impassioned about 25 minutes stat pad I think it's about more. Leo Messi winning Ballon d'Or. Then he says the whole thing's rigged and it should be investigated. Oh, no, no, no. That, the, the, no, 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 no. You said that thing should be investigated. Saying like how, yeah, problem. saying how. Is a problem you, with it. you know how you Even said how you talk about Lewandowski. So from the beginning, you know that this award is. <laughs> It's rigged. It's flawed. <laughs> and you sat here contesting and dying for Leo, Leo, Leo. <laughs> dying for him for the award. That's rigged. That's flawed. You're, you're listening. You're not hearing. But it'll be very interesting. You're listening. Genuinely, you're not hearing. It'll be very interesting because along the years, the controversy has been they normally give it to whoever wins the Champions League. <laughs> it's true. Normally, they give it to whoever's won the Champions League and they feel like has contributed the most. So it'll be very interesting to see now because here... You can't fight the fact that Messi... Who made those arguments? Those were not conclusive arguments. Those are just arguments here that people made to justify why a player should win it. But players have won it when they've not won the Champions League. But the year Modric won it, did he not win the Champions League? He did. He He did. did. And that's what people were saying. They gave it to him because he won Champions League because people were saying Mbappe should have won it because they won the World Cup. But then I could make the argument in 26 or wherever, Cannavaro won it because he won the World Cup. Yeah, that's the only reason. So, yeah. So, 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 no, 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 no. Wait, hey, let me land. This is where I'm going. Okay. So, normally they say it's whoever wins the Champions League or whoever's won, won the World, World Cup. Cup. So, this is why this one is very interesting because where do we go from here? This guy has won the World Champions Cup League. Champions the guy League. has won the World Cup. It's, here it's, we are. It's whoever, yeah, wins, I think, the most... Of course, we talk about the individual thing, yeah, but they win the most prestigious awards as deemed by football fans, yeah, in the year. Exactly. And the World Cup is the most prestigious award in, in co- um, competition, sorry, in football world. No it, one would argue with that. Depends if you're right? a Madrista or not. But anyway. But, 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 <laughs> but, but, but you know what? I think here, yeah, the argument, yeah, that a lot... You, this those, is those Champions League versus Ireland World Cup. Made, yeah, that's why Messi shouldn't win it. And maybe you might think it's a bit asinine here, yeah, is the fact that the World Cup was played in a non-World Cup year. Played in winter as well. Yeah. yeah. I think that... Could be a, a good idea. And someone also threw it. And in a that country would that should never have hosted it. Someone Probably if it was in well. the summer, Messi would have played worse because his legs would have been gone by now. But I'm just saying, He's though. Messy, I'm just saying, <laughs> it will make it happen. I'm just saying, it's <laughs> you guys keep... So many options. Do you know what? We I'm <laughs> leaping. We keep leaping. I've actually leaping. deeped it. My argument isn't even about Haaland or Messi. They had to make the World Cup in My the winter argument just for is Messi to win it. <laughs> World Cup <laughs> versus Champions League Ballon d'Or. That is my argument. Which one overrides which one? Because we've seen over the years, it's fluctuated. We know who they're going to go for. They're going to go for this it's yeah. think... Cannavaro won it that year because he won the World Cup. But in the year Mbappe won it, won the World Cup, Modric won it because of the Champions League. I think that's when they won. Is that when they won their... I think that must have been their three-peat. Yeah. Their three-peat, yeah. yeah. So, I think that must so have been. over the years, it's... No, I, th- I think they gave it to Modric here because of his consistency those three years running. You see what I'm saying? They just wanted to crown him that... I don't know, years. man. It might have been. Listen, I don't know. People voted for him. They thought he should have won it. Mbappe would always have... The, it's, it's, Mbappe's one was, in a way, the opposite argument that you were making. Or, you know, let's say Modric has reached an old age. Let's give it to him. Mbappe's got time to win more. You know the argument you were making? Yeah. He's won many, so let's give it to him. It's the opposite flip argument. You yeah. can't make those sorts of arguments. If Mbappe deserved it, he should have won it. But maybe we for need like, to rewind ourselves. Anyway, yeah, the point I was making is, yes, it's phenomenal what he's done at the age of 22, but let's not forget what Messi was also doing at 22. In fact, younger. And that's not to take anything away from Haaland. It's not to take anything away from no him. No problem But at there's all. levels and degrees to the game. 100%. Mm. I'm, not saying Haaland, still... I'm not saying Haaland gets into the bracket of Ronaldo and Messi, by the way, at all. But I'm just saying the trajectory is bright. And this Ballon d'Or... Should we end it with top five? <laughs> okay, go on. Go on. Because I think here, yeah, one Messi, player... Messi, Haaland, th- two, Defo. Yeah. yeah. I think one player that this season has it, had his team done a bit bad than they did end the season would have probably even tipped Haaland for me, Vinicius Jr. Oh, yeah. I thought Vin- Vinny's been phenomenal. Vinny. And his numbers are very... Like, it's balanced across, across yeah, the last few it's, years. It's, I remember it's I, sat, phenomenal. I think I sat here and said, my only issue with him is his numbers and output doesn't match the talent. I think I said it a few years ago. And now I'm seeing it. And uh, and then I'm I have Gundo. Yeah. You, you heard it here first. Gundogan. People. 
Yeah, different Kunlo. class. Different class. We'll Listen. be in there and clutch, Mr. Clutch. Mm-hmm. For this season, I'll, I'll put him top five. Yeah. And it's not even that, just leading up to it. I think, I think what Mbappe done in the World Cup, still phenomenal. Mbappe, he's one of those guys, he's the guy that, you know, you still think this season they didn't do great by great numbers. Yeah, and he done yeah. phenomenal at the World Cup. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I, I the guys are never so I could throw him there. Yeah, so that'll be my, him. that'll probably be my top five. I just and then I'd love to put Osimhen in there somewhere because of what he's achieved this year at Napoli and the goals. I mean, it's great. It's great. It's great for an African player and everything yeah. like that. But we're talking about. I think that's a bit more sentimental from yeah, my yeah, side. Yeah. yeah, but that's still good to win the league for Napoli. who haven't won it in twenty years. Yeah, yeah, for however many years. Really no, good, and really and he scored plenty of goals yeah, for them as well. He's yeah, done really think, well. Yeah, it's just a shame that his season ended like the injury and stuff like that. Yeah, but still, I think he did. Yeah. Yeah, so is yeah. that our top five? You get an honourable mention, Messi. Oh, sorry, Harlan, Messi. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you know what I was you just expose do? your true feelings. <laughs> my true feelings. My true feelings is Ronaldo's the greatest of all time. So there that's we go. That's fine, that's fine. But yeah, so nah. Harlan and Messi, Messi and Harland. Rodri. I didn't put Rodri, I put Vinny. Okay, Vinny. Gundo. Gundo. And um, Mbappe. Mbappe. Ah, that's solid that's for me. Still. That's for me. Okay. Yep. Sounds good, sounds good. Uh, agree or disagree? Is it just a two-horse race between Messi and Haaland or do you believe what coach says it cannot be anyone else but Leo Messi? Uh, get in touch with us. But that does it for the Front Free Podcast. Leo, we'll see you Leo, soon. Leo, Leo, <laughs> Leo. Green white men don't listen to It's only green white men don't listen to It's the Front Free